Hello everyone. In this video lecture, I am going to explain about regular expressions. Now I am going to consider the problem in which our goal is to match finite or repeating pattern. So first problem is regular uh, lexical analysis. So lex lexical analysis is the first phase of a compiler. Now to match or uh, finite or repeating patterns, we make use of a rare tool. So to we make use of a regular expressions. So let's see how to make use of a regular expression and how, uh, where. Lexical analysis is nothing but it is going to divide your entire program into meaningful pieces. For example, let me consider a, a one pro part of the program or one line of a program, something like int a. So now the meaningful pieces for this statement is int a variable and then semicolon. So to identify these kind of state uh, parts of a program, you need regular expression. So it's because such kind of instances, uh, uh, such kind of many instances that do exist in the program. So that's why we need regular expression. Similarly, we make use of regular expression to filter email for a spam because there are many spam emails uh, can come and sit in our inbox, so which can be separated using regular expression. To sort an email, we need a regular expression. Similarly, to search a complex directory structure by specifying the patterns, to specify the patterns, we need to know a regular expression. Now, what is regular expression? Regular expression is pattern description using a meta language, a language that used to describe particular patterns of interest. Now, for example, if I want to uh, search for a string like India, string like India, then I can write a regular expression something like this within the course. Okay. And similarly, if I want to search for a variable, C variables in a, a program, then I can write a regular expression, something like A to Z, A to Z, because the first character has to be either a alphabet or a underscore, and followed by that, A to Z, A to Z, underscore, 0 to 9, plus. So here it is, plus. So plus says one or more occurrence. So, this is the regular expression for a regular ex uh, to identify a variable. This is the regular expression to identify a variable. So first character is uh, in one among a to z, a to z underscore, and followed by that any number of this kind of uh, uh, this kind of characters. So here, the, since it is one or more occurrence, so we, this part generates a string, whereas this part generates a single character. Now, regular expression provides a concise and flexible means for matching strings of text, such as particular characters, words, or patterns of characters. So, character class here also I have nothing but a rectangular bracket, a character class which matches any character within the bracket. So, here I said, so in this bracket it matches a single character, either one among from this. So when I say A to Z, it is all the alphabet, A to Z. So when I say this, this kind of, so here you can see, so in the within the bracket, I have written circumflex, means a bracket, uh, cap, cap followed by space, then tap, then new line. What does it, this, the circumflex as a first character indicates that it negates the meaning of the entire thing. That means it matches any character except space, tab, and new line character. Now, what are the special symbols you can use? Two kinds of special symbols you are going to use. That is one set of say, uh, special symbols to which we will attach particular meanings like null, union, epsilon, open bracket, close bracket, star and many. And one more is alphabet. Alphabet is contains the symbols that regular expressions will match against. What is regular expression? Regular expression uh, it can be formed according to the following rules. Null is also a regular expression. Language contains no strings till 
uh, we can try express uh, something like none so this is also a regular expression even an empty string is also a regular expression alphabet is also every element in alphabet single character can also be termed as a regular expression because uh, if you want to match just a a or a b then you can write a regular expression as a only next alpha beta concatenation of alpha beta regular expression is also a regular expression alpha union beta is also a regular expression alpha star zero or more occurrence of alpha is a regular expression alpha plus one or more occurrence of alpha is a regular expression and the parenthesized alpha is also a regular expression now we will consider some of the examples uh, of a regular expression when we consider alpha beta as a comma b null i have as i have told can be a regular expression empty a, just single character a b a union b star a union b star in the sense it is a it is a, a string uh, you can generate of the form epsilon a combinations of a and b the combinations of a and b can be many next a b b a union epsilon is also a regular expression so we can tell every regular expression has its own meaning now let's understand the semantic interpretation of l l of null equal to null so language contains null no string so when we have a null string and the language of nulls gives the meaning of null language of empty empty only empty is present then the language that contains just the empty string then if the c belongs to alphabet and the language contains only c then c is also language that contains single one character string c similarly l of alpha beta is equal to l of alpha l of beta it's a concatenation of two regular expressions so if one of them is null then entire l of alpha beta can become null so l of union beta equal to l of union l of beta so which is a union of uh, language of regular expression alpha and beta l of alpha star equal to l of alpha whole star where star is the clean star operator not star it is star operator next we have l of alpha plus which is also a regular expression because l of alpha plus can be written as uh, alpha alpha star why alpha plus indicates one or more occurrence of alpha so one or more occurrence of alpha can be written as alpha alpha star so this can be written as l of alpha l of alpha star if l of alpha is null then l of l plus can be null if one of them is because concatenation if you concatenate anything to null then the whole expression can become null l of parenthesized alpha is equal to l of alpha so parenthesis have that means parenthesis have no effect on meaning expect except to group the constituents in an expression and finally l of null star equal to epsilon you should remember because star is nothing but zero or more occurrence so zero occurrence of anything is empty so that's why here l of null star equal to empty l of epsilon star is also equal to empty l of null star also equal to empty that's about the basics of regular expression